not tell her not doing this, but the shot's on for the title. Double 12 for the title. The Loxley Keith Deller 40th anniversary darts review begins right now. Here we go. Hey, hey, what's up, guys? Worldwide here. We have a fantastic video for you today on a collector's edition set of darts. So, in today's video, I'll be reviewing the Loxley Keith Deller. 40th anniversary darts. So these things throw back to the darts that he used when he won the 1983 BDO World Championship. We all know he beat Eric Bristow in the finals with that amazing 138. Check out Under Pressure, which, hey, I happen to replicate there in the intro. Hope you like that effort. But um, hey, before we get into the video, just want to let you know I picked these up at Dart Shopper in the Netherlands. Just a hair north of 50 US dollars, which, hey, I think it's a pretty good deal for a collector's edition set of darts. Link down below in the pinned comment will take you over to Dart Shopper. You can check out these darts or any of the other Loxley models that they sell. Now, before we get into the video, I really wanted to mention this because I do this often. I'm not sure if any of you watching the video do this, but do you ever go back and look at the stats that they were, uh, they were throwing back in the day? I honestly can't wrap my mind around it. Now, take you back to the uh, 1983 final against Eric Bristow. He averaged 90 with a set of darts extremely similar to these. Really, the only difference were the points. He used a spring-loaded point back in the day. These are just a fixed, regular point. But yeah, he averaged over 90 in the finals. Now, keep in mind, guys, that was on the dartboards from the 1980s. Staples, round wires, smaller segments. It's, it's truly remarkable how good these guys really were. And if we fast forward a couple of years to 1985, correct me if I'm wrong, but Keith was the first one to ever average over 100 in a world uh, no, in a world championship event. And again, I don't know how he did it. Those dartboards from 1985 were horrendous. And on top of that, that 100 average was in a losing effort. So yeah, it, it's really hard to wrap your mind around how good these guys really were. But can you imagine averaging 100 with darts like this? I couldn't even do it on the dartboard you see on the wall nowadays with my own match darts. So I mean, these guys truly, truly had some talent back then. I would love to see them in their prime play on the boards that we have nowadays. I think that, you know, we would definitely see some well over 100 plus averages. But let me know what you think of that down in the comment section below. But let's get into this video. We'll take a close up look, stats and dimensions, and then I'll get them on the board, throw them for a bit. And I'll let you know what I think of the Loxley Keith Deller 40th anniversary darts. Here we go. All righty, let me show you this packaging. We'll take a quick peek at the darts and then straight into the stats and dimensions. But yeah, typical cardboard or compact cardboard hand case from Loxley. Couple things worth noting here, copper tungsten. So yeah, we're dealing with some copper tungsten barrels and very light ones at that, at 20 grams. Now on the back, I absolutely love this diagram. That was Keese 138, match winning 138 checkout. Trouble 20, right buried in the left-hand corner. Trouble 18, upper left-hand corner. And then the double 12, right above the bottom wire, dead center of the segment. And those were Keith's opponents. And look at these last three opponents to win the title. He went through Lowell, Wilson, and Bristow. Absolutely amazing, right? But yeah, Keith Deller Anniversary Edition darts are the throwback to the famous short and stumpy darts Keith used so memorably back in 1983. So there's the packaging. And now you guys came to see the darts. And yeah, they are short and stumpy, that's for sure. We've got the Loxley logo, followed by the 138 logo. Short points, short barrel, short and fat barrel. We've got some medium length Loxley nylon stems, 48 and a half millimeters, not including the threads. And there are the famous 138 Loxley Keith Deller flights. But uh, well, yeah, let's get a little bit closer look and I'll hit you with all the stats and dimensions. Get in there. Here we go. Alrighty guys, let me hit you with some stats and dimensions. We're gonna start with the points like we normally do. Now, for whatever reason, Keith preferred really short points for his entire playing career, and these certainly are short. They only stick out of the barrel 25 millimeters in total. So you combine the short points with a rather chunky barrels, it's a small miracle he was able to play as well as he did. I don't know how he grouped these things, but he certainly did. Now, as far as the barrels go, 
like I said earlier, copper tungsten barrels. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but most copper tungsten barrels are 80% tungsten with a lot of copper mixed in. Now, as far as the length goes, I believe these are the shortest pro player darts I've ever seen. They only measure 35.3 millimeters long. So yeah, incredibly short. And as far as the barrel width goes, right in through the entire middle of the barrel, they're eight millimeters wide. Now I unscrewed the stem, checked out the drill depth, and I was kind of surprised here to see how shallow they were drilled out. Only 7.8 millimeters deep in the back end. And in case you're wondering, the stems on the Loxley nylon stems here, 6.2 millimeters. So not a lot of wiggle room there in the back end. Very dense barrels. Uh, as far as the weight goes, advertised as a super light 20 grams. Match weight was incredible. The lightest barrel, 19.99. The next barrel spot on at 20 grams. And finally, the third barrel, check this out, 20.01. So only two one hundredths of a gram off from lightest to heaviest. That is some incredible match weighting. So well done, Loxley. But let's get a little closer look and I'll tell you about the grip. Okay, grip level check. And as you would expect, not that grippy out of the box. I mean, you can see here, there's only a few multi rings throughout the middle of this bomb shaped barrel. However, remember guys, copper tungsten. So the more you use them, the more the barrel is gonna darken up and the more the grip will improve. However, out of the box, I'd say grip level two on a scale of one to five, but I would predict the more you use them once they darken up, once the oils in your fingertip react with the copper, I would say they could go up to a grip level 2.5 on a scale of 1 to 5. But that's it. Pretty basic barrel, right? Just a few multi-rings here. We've got this super tapered nose cone. A little bit of a lip on the front end as well. And that's about all there is. But as far as the grip goes, my, my grip is going to be right here, right in the middle of the barrel. And I'm really curious to see how I'm going to be able to throw these things. I mean, short points chunky barrel at eight millimeters wide. Probably not the easiest darts to throw, but hey, it can be done as Keith Deller demonstrated with his 100 plus average way back on those crappy 1980 dart boards. So um, yeah, let's get these things on the board and give them a rip. We'll throw them just like you see them. Here we go. Okay guys, just had a quick warm up and 100% uh, stock as they came out of the package. I haven't changed a thing. And your first question might be, how do they throw? I mean, to be honest, not too bad. Similar to any other bomb-shaped barrel. They're just a little bit short. And of course, we got the short points. But after a few minutes, you kind of get used to them. And uh, my grip, point of finger and thumb, kind of right in the middle of the barrel in that flat spot. And hey, they're, they're flying okay. Certainly nothing I would ever use, but... They're, they're standing up in the board. Let me see if I can get over that one. Well, I can get under it. How about over, I said. Aha! Hey! Third dart saver with the 8 millimeter wide copper tungsten barrels. And you know what, guys? I've got to go back to what I said earlier in the video. As I've been warming up with these things, as I'm playing with them, I can't help but be astonished that Keith averaged in the 1983 finals over 90 with these darts. And keep in mind, it wasn't on a board that was as pretty as this. You were talking a board, a dart board from 1983, round wires, staples, eight millimeter wide, tiny segments. And the guy averaged 90 with a set of darts like this. Truly, truly phenomenal. Just an amazing amount of skill, isn't it? And then fast forward a couple years, over 100 average. What? Yeah, I, I honestly, I, I can't wrap my head around how good that is. Hey, man, they're, they're flying good enough, right? Like I said, just takes a little bit of getting used to. There's a 140 right there. Obviously, I'm not grouping them super tight. Although, wait till you see the last clip of the video. The 180 was looking pretty nice. Got a new camera angle too as well, so I thought it looked pretty good. Come on, see that that's standing up in the board? Yeah, they're flying all right. I mean, it's, these are actually similar to like a Phil Taylor dart or any other bomb-shaped barrel. I think with longer points, I'd like them a little bit more, but... Oh, is that back-to-back -back 140s? Come on. Still though, 
I'm getting a little bit lucky here. I mean, can you imagine, honestly, averaging over 100, over six sets of play in the World Championships. Wow, set play. It's not easy to carry that high average. So, yeah, going back that many years on those awful boards from back in the day. It's, wow. Yeah, I definitely think they deserve a lot more credit than they get for playing as well as they did back then. <laughs> back to normal. Well, we're not going to end with a 30. We've got one more throw to make it right. Let's see what we can get here. There we go. Off to a good start. All sorts of room on the right-hand side of the bed. I went a little bit too far right. Ah, first start was good. 68. Well, there it is, guys. Five random turns, and um, three of the turns were pretty good. Kind of ended poorly on the last two turns, but there you go. It just goes to show that if you take your time, get used to any set of barrels, they will perform pretty good eventually. It just depends on how long you take to get used to them. But yeah, I have no issues with these things at all. And I like them a lot more than I thought I would. But yeah, let's roll into that 180 now. Like I said, new camera angle. And it was pretty tight as well. Keep in mind, and keep in mind, uh, eight millimeter wide barrels when you're watching this next clip. Here we go. Aha! Boom! Certainly not one of the easiest 180s I hit, although I've been recording for four minutes and 25 seconds, 26, 27, 28. Hey, that wasn't too bad. We will definitely take that one, but hey, always a great place to end the video. I hope you enjoyed the review of the Loxley Keith Deller 40th Anniversary Darts. Reminder, link down below in the pinned comments. Going to take you over to Dart Shopper. Pick yourself up a set or any of the other Loxley models that they have. So normally this time of the video is where I give these a recommendation and how well I think they're going to work for a recreational dart player. Obviously, they're not going to work well for many players. So many players. So we're just going to skip over that. Now, as far as how collectible do I think they might be? Yeah, pretty good, right? I mean, that's Pretty incredible to be able to own a set of darts, near replica darts that he used from 1983. And I think it's a great addition to anyone's collection. Respectable price as well, mid $50 range. So you can't beat that deal. As far as collectibles go, 9.2 out of 10. Yeah, highly collectible and just a great set of darts to have in the collection. So we'll leave it at that. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, thumbs up, always appreciated. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know what you thought of these darts. And until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. Later.